doing, I believe this is what he wants from you, is for you to see him as a bridegroom radiant and resplendent. I believe that if you leave this school and you have other interests, you missed it. I think that the reason why you're here is because what he's doing is he's raising up really a real bride. And when I say bride, I mean someone who recognizes the bridegroom. If the bride is anything, the most fundamental aspect of the bride is that she sees him as the one and only bridegroom. I want to talk to you about the irresistible beauty of his person. And I want to talk to you about the, the all-sufficiency of his person. Now, when I say these two words, they're easily just forgotten, but his beauty is irresistible, meaning when you look upon him, you cannot but desire him. To see him rightly is to want him only. And when the heart chooses to look upon him, not only does it live, <laughs> but when it looks upon him, it desires only him. And this is the irresistibility of his beauty. And the all sufficiency of his person means that when you find him, see him, experience him, all the vacuums of the soul are shut off. You, you have no other desires anymore. They've withered away. For in Him you found all. A.W. Tozer said, when a man has met God, he's not looking for anything because he's found it. <laughs> and so it is with the all-sufficiency of His person. Sometimes when we say things like, Jesus is more than enough, people see it as just like a, a blanket being thrown over everything. Just like, oh yeah, that's your cop-out. Jesus is enough. No, no. To say and to believe that Jesus is enough is actually holiness itself. Holiness can be summed up with this, I shall not want because in the shepherd you found everything. 